It is officially day one, January 11th. Um, it's about 11 a.m. and none of my courses have posted materials online yet. So it's a good start. Um, I actually got really lucky and one professor posted a class on Canvas, which is the online platform weeks ago. So like December 21st and the whole class is self-paced for the most part. And I actually am basically done with that. So I'm going to spend my first day, like my first official day as a grad student, finishing the class for the one professor that like really had their stuff together and posted the class in December and hope that by the end of the day, I have syllabi for the other three classes that I'm taking. I guess one of them, one is a like a practicum, like a field experience, which is gonna be totally different this semester because of um, COVID, obviously. Schools are like a little less inclined to let students, like graduate students or undergrad students be in the classroom for student teaching field experience stuff. So that's gonna look a little different but there's a methods class that goes with that practicum and we don't have any information on that either. And then my one other class is uh, child to adolescent um, development. And so I know what my textbook is for that. So maybe I'll just get that and maybe start going through it a little bit and get a feel for what the format is. Um, but I still don't have a syllabus or plan or module or any work to do. So here I am recording videos instead. Quick day one afternoon check-in. All of my classes have at least now given at least some information about what to expect, although one of those updates was that a class that was originally listed as asynchronous is now on Thursdays for three hours. So not surprised that it's a three hour class. I knew that that's like typical for grad classes, uh, but a little bit of a shock that I went from thinking I only had one class with a set time to now having two. So just waiting on one more professor to post real like first day information. And that one was confirmed to be asynchronous. So it should be coming out today. And then um, another update. Oh, right. I got offered a graduate assistantship. So that's really exciting because it will come with a stipend and a scholarship. So that'll be a big relief financially. And I have been working on the one class that the professor posted early has a, it's like usually an undergraduate class. And so there's an extra paper at the end to take it for graduate credit. So I've been working on that paper and I forgot how to write papers. So that'll be fine. It'll, it'll all be fine. It'll all be fine. Interesting first day. So it's Tuesday. And I've spent the day, Tuesday afternoon, I spent the day running errands this morning and then I just finished my last assignment for the class that got posted really early. So I am officially done with a class. Um, I'll have to respond to a couple discussion posts online throughout the semester, but um, for the most part it's done. So I just took my course, lo course load from four to three just because this professor was really on top of her game, which was just awesome. Um, I have a meeting tomorrow because I got offered a graduate assistantship, which is a huge deal. So I start tomorrow the meeting with that. And so for the rest of the day today, I guess, um, I've got a couple other errands I could probably run and then I'll probably just read and cross stitch. It is Wednesday, so day three and my one asynchronous class still doesn't have a syllabus up uh, so I've not really been able to feel good about starting anything there. I did find out that I should be able to get a discount on the textbook which is like an online platform thing um, through getting uh, that graduate assistantship. I also I had a meeting this morning to kind of kick that off so I officially started today and I've got some uh, email work that I can go through for that but other than that I haven't really been able to start um, any schoolwork. Two of my classes meet online but have set meeting times on Thursdays so hopefully tomorrow afternoon um, I will get more information and really today has just been a day of like doing 
personal stuff that I needed to get done. So like finances and stuff like that. And then I've been kind of watching YouTube all day. So I'm going to try to get some work done for my GA and then I don't know. I wish I had more to do because I think like a tidal wave is going to hit me next week, but it's all, it is what it is. It is the very end of day four, Thursday. Um, I, so the past two days I've been very anxious with like the lack of information and communication coming from professors and just starting the new um, assistantship. And today was really, really good. So I had my two like in person or online, but at the same time like classes. And I am really excited and I think they're going to go really well. There's a lot of people, which I think I knew, but I didn't really realize what was, that was going to feel like on like a Zoom call. So my methods class, which is like all of the social science students, um, there's 30 of us. And she said that maybe there might be people that were missing too. So it might be even more than 30. So that's once a week for three hours and it's very discussion heavy and I'm just uh, a little bit nervous about like how that's going to work if she's going to have us raise our hands in Zoom or if we're all just going to have to sort of like jump in which wouldn't ordinarily matter except that there's participation credit and I'm just nervous that not everybody's going to have the same opportunities to talk. I'm usually pretty good about it but I don't know, even today it was just sort of like, there are some people in this class that are very uh, chatty. <laughs> and so I hope that I am able to, you know, keep it um, participating as much as I'd like to. Um, and then other than that, I've been working on some like, the first wave of work that I got for the GA and that's pretty much it. It's like 9.30. Um, so I was planning on checking in right after class, but I was so hungry because I have like four hours of class uh, straight. So the first week's almost over. Um, I'm starting to realize how short the semester is. Like in my undergrad, our semesters were August to December and then January to May. And this is January to April, and it feels oddly faster, like way faster, even though it's only a month different. Um, so it feels like just go, 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 but I don't have all this stuff. So I'm like still being forced to pace like a week at a time, even though I have the instinct to sort of just rush through it. Um, but all right, well, I'll check in again tomorrow. So it's Tuesday, week two. I didn't film on Friday because I kind of lost track of time and honestly was just feeling very overwhelmed. Um, my first week was like oddly calm and also very stressful. Um, I'm, I'm having trouble with like the lack of of information that I'm getting and it's just uh, it's really hitting on my anxiety so I'm a person that really likes to be in control of things and control is easier to have when I have all the information and right now I'm waiting on information from a bunch of people and then there's some stuff where like I don't even know who to ask like I found out Friday that I'm supposed to have had a background check which makes sense like, don't let strange adults into classrooms. Word. But nobody told me that. Uh, and so it's possible that I don't, that it's like not a big deal and that we're going to get it taken care of right away and whatever. But I haven't, I still haven't gotten an answer on it. And so just the speed in which I'm getting answers to questions and like not really knowing who a central point of contact is 
has just been really stressful. And I don't know if that's normal. Like maybe that's, maybe that's a thing. Maybe that's just what grad school is. I don't know. It wasn't like this in undergrad. Like I always knew who to ask and I don't now. So that's fine. And then just like everything, it's just everything. And maybe it's because, you know, we're in the middle of a global pandemic and I'm trying to be as understanding of people not being as responsive as maybe they would be in a normal world. Uh, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm not a very patient person, so it's not going great, but I'm, I'm trying. Um, and there gets to a point where like, how long do you get to use that as an excuse? Like one of my professors didn't post a syllabus until Friday afternoon of the first week. Like that just seems late. I would have understood Wednesday or Thursday, whatever. It's, it's fine. It's not what I expected. And I'm the kind of person that will like go physically find you and put my body in front of you and make you pay attention to me. And I can't obviously do that right now because we're not in person and it's just hard. So that's the first week. And I do finally have all of my syllabi and I know all the dates, at least tentative dates for all of my projects and stuff like that. And I've gotten started on my GA work and so that's you know going and, and that's like another place where I don't have all the information but at least that's like work and I know how to do work so I can bug people like that um so we'll see hopefully this week goes a little better one of my classes is canceled because it's a there's a section on Monday and there's a section on Thursday that I'm in and since Monday we were off the Thursday section's canceled too so I only have one like in-person class and I've already done all the work for that. So it's nice. I, I've been able to keep up and ahead on work. So at least I'm doing my part and that's all I can do. So we'll, we'll see. Hopefully things get better. Um, or I learned to live with ambiguity. Maybe haven't, hasn't happened yet, but it's possible. So that's uh, week one. <laughs>